My next guest starred for nine years on King of Queens. She's now created a documentary series covering her fallout with the Church of Scientology. Please welcome Leah Remini. <laughs> A gentleman. Am I? How you so? walked me. You held my hand the whole way. Very nice. Well, look where you got the high Your heels. I want you to has... snap an ankle. We got insurance. That doesn't mean you know. anything. <laughs> doesn't? Mean, no. It doesn't mean anything. The, your wife taught you well. That's she what, did. That was my point. You know, my wife actually said, "Never sit before your your female guest sits." Remember, it's just like you're in public. See? Don't ever, don't ever do that. So yeah. was I not wrong that she trained you? No. See how good I was. I was so. Perceptive. If you're saying something positive about my wife, you're never wrong. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. And never now. Wrong. Yeah. And now. Now, and now you will get laid for saying that. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, listen, hey, congratulations. Thank you got uh, two Emmy nominations for this uh, documentary series you're doing for A&E. For season one, <laughs> Scientology and the Aftermath, mm -hmm. Leah Remini. Yes. Now, um, uh, this is your first uh, Emmy nomination, right? Yes. Uh, that's amazing. That I can't crazy? believe after all these years, this is your first one. You didn't get one no. for playing the hot wife of the doughy guy all no. those years. No, the funny guy. No, I, <laughs> I, um, and I, and I love, I love his dough. I mean, of course. <laughs> now let's talk about the season two of uh, Scientology in the Aftermath. Uh, uh, starts Tuesday, August fifteenth here on the on the, on the A and E. Um, you were in the Church of Scientology for thirty five years. Um, are is the church cool with you doing this documentary? <laughs> no. No, they're not. Uh, Were you surprised <laughs> how uncool they are with it? Well, I was. I knew the policies of Scientology. Scientology has policies that you know the writings of L. Ron Hubbard yeah. that's followed to a T. Unlike mm -hmm. you know real religion. What where... beyond Dianetics? <laughs> there, there's Dianetics, and what beyond Dianetics are the writings? Everything in Scientology is written down. The tech. Uh, the technology. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. You're good. I'm, I love, I love the terminology. It. Yes. I love the terminology. Yes, I know KSW, you KSW, I take that very seriously. What does that mean? Keeping Scientology working. You must have loved it, but yes, that's uh, true. Uh, that's right. That's why I'm only OT level <laughs> one. That's why. <laughs> what OT level did you reach? Five. Okay, is that good? Yes. Okay, what is that? How? Well, it meant that, that I had cleared all of my, my, my beings that are attached to my body. Yeah. From sickness, that I cured myself of all illness. And did that actually work? Did we actually I do cure not, of all Ill, no, illness? Did you no, get ill? No. You did not get ill. Well, I, yes, we're all we all get ill. But but, uh, but did you get ill less than other people? Mm, no, but you believe it. But you believe that you are. And, and there, was there a, a value for that? For not you? not for that. But but in the beginning, you know, Scientology teaches very basic morals and concepts, mm -hmm. but teaches you things how you know how to do your finances, how to communicate mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Not that I achieved that clearly. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a small, it, it starts very slowly, and it, of course there are things in the beginning that are helpful, yeah. but as you go and as you get further and th further indoctrinated, you can't get out without huge damage to yourself and to your family, and if you decide to leave and speak out, as yeah. most do, their policies say to attack. Do you believe it's a religion at all? No. Why not? Because... A, a, a system of thought, even if it's destructive, <laughs> uh, you know, in some people's eyes, mm. if it's destructive, how is that less of a religion than, uh, I don't know, my belief in angels? You can choose to believe or not believe in, in, in angels. And also Scientology is a business. It's a, you have to pay before you go up the chart of Scientology. And by the end of, of this Scientology bridge, you're in it. A half a million dollars. How long have you been out of the Church of Scientology? Well, I've been out for about five years. Okay. And and are you shopping for a new religion? Now? I'm not shopping. <laughs> You're not? No, but but again, I, I have a, I have an issue with calling it another religion. Okay. Um, are you are you searching for a religion right now? Could I interest you? I've in... always been. Ca Listen, I've always been. <laughs> You've always been Catholic. Uh, well, I was baptized a Catholic, and okay. I baptized my daughter a Catholic. And can you be and a Catholic and a Scientologist at the same time? No, although they promote that you can. That oh. is a lie. They don't okay. actually, when you get up to the confidential levels of Scientology that yeah. cost, again, hundreds of thousands of yeah. dollars, you find out that 
God is a lie to Scientologists, but they don't what do you, say what that. What do you mean by what do you mean? They by say that? God is a lie. There is no such thing as God. Then what are you actually? Where is the you tech coming from? The tech is coming from L. Ron Hubbard. And is he dead? Um, in Scientologist's mind, he is. His body is dead. And where is the rest? He's. <laughs> I, I, no, I, don't, I don't mean to be because again, angels. But like, where is? Without, don't, don't continue to put yourself in the same category because it's very different. You, you, well, when I, you, maybe. Have you have you seen 1984? Yeah. Okay. That's. Would you call that a religion? Uh, uh, no. That's a that's a, a fascist regime that uh, crushes the face of a man forever underneath the hobnail boot. <laughs> that's what it's described as. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the stories that we tell are of people's real pain. These are not people going on our program to, to gain uh, notoriety or mm -hmm. fame. These are people going up there, you know, going, appearing on our show, knowing that they're going to be shunned and attacked. Within hours of our show airing, people have hate websites uh -huh. built on them from Scientology. Well, Do you I, know of I, another religious gonna, organization does? Am, am, am I going to have a hate website well, I don't know, because for having you on? Well, a little bit. You're towing the line bit. a little bit. What you are you have towing? To, what am well, I doing? Because you're like saying, well, is it like other faiths? Is it like other... Uh -huh. you know, so you could be like kind of forgiven, but uh -huh. unless you make like a, an actual statement. Well, like what kind of statement? What do I have to say? <laughs> Uh, you're also, next year, this is very exciting, next season, you're back with Kevin James. Yes. On Kevin Can Wait. Yes. Uh, uh, are you doing what? I mean, well, again, I, they're going to go, why is the pretty girl with No, him? no, no. No, I was, I played last scene, at the end of his first season, I played his ex-partner. We, yeah. were, we were cops together. Yeah. We were detectives together. So I just come back as that character. And you came on for a couple episodes last year, and people loved it, and go, why am I not Leah Remini? Why about her? I love her? that. I, it's an amazing feeling. Do you, ever, amazing. do you ever think, because uh, the people in your former not of faith, as you say, uh, are there so many in Hollywood? Is there a fear about leaving Scientology that you won't work again? No, I felt it was just the opposite. I always felt there was something about me that people were scared of because I was in the organization. And as a matter of fact, like when I left and I was close to people in the business, they would say, I, did, I never understood when they felt comfortable enough how you were in this cult, how, you, how somebody so not cultish would want to, you know, how, like they never really understood how I could be in it, but I was in it as a child. A lot of these people were brought in as children and didn't really have a choice. So no, I feel just the opposite. I feel I've been embraced by Hollywood. I've been embraced by our audience, and so have our contributors. And for that, we are so grateful. Well, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, my Season two of Scientology and the Aftermath premieres next Tuesday on A and E. And she'll be back this fall on Kevin Conway.